Welcome to my YouTube page. Don't forget to subscribe, click on the bell to receive notifications. Hi, how many times have you heard that the Quran is the perfect book that always have been preserved by Allah, sent down through Jibreel to Muhammad? Muslims have always claimed that the Quran is perfect without any errors, without any contradictions. But wait, what if we can find just one mistake in the Quran? That means the Quran is not perfect. It's not sent down by a perfect God, as the Muslims have claimed for the last 1400 years. So can we find just one mistake in the Quran to prove that the Quran is not perfect and it cannot be sent down by a so-called perfect God? Yes, we can. Let's show you how easy it is to find just one error, one mistake in the Quran. If we can find just one mistake in the Quran, that means it is not from God. It cannot be perfect as the Muslims have always told us. So let us see if we can find a grammatical mistake in the Quran. Let's go. Now, we will continue this series in part two. So if you didn't watch part one, go back and watch part one and i will provide the link in the description field so let us continue with part two and show you more grammatical mistakes now this time we're going to talk about chapter three ayah 59 of the quran there is a huge grammar mistake or a grammatical mistake in chapter three ayah 59 of the quran now this is chapter 3, ayah 59, Surat Ali Amran, ayah 59. So let me show you the disaster. First, let us read the English and continue. Indeed, the example of Jesus to Allah is like that of Adam. He created him from dust, then he said to him, be, and he was, be, and he was. Does the Arabic says, be, and he was? Hmm. Let us investigate that. Let me show you the taqiyya, the deception of the Muslim translators who are trying to fix the Arabic, which the Arabic does not say. So let us go to the Arabic, back to the original Arabic, and show you the grammatical disaster that Muhammad created in his man-made book, calling it a divine book from a divine being called Allah. Let us show you that the Quran is nothing but a man-made book that contains many disasters. Watch. This is chapter 3, Surat Ali Amran again, the same ayah, ayah 59. Let me read part of the Arabic to you and show you the disaster. It's already on the screen, but let me explain. ثُمَّ قَالَ لَهُ كُنْ فَيَكُونْ ثُمَّ قَالَ لَهُ كُنْ فَيَكُونْ now pay attention to the last word, فَيَكُونْ, فَيَكُونْ. Now here comes the grammatical mistake in the Arabic. Here the ayah is talking in the past. Allah is saying, he said to him, to who? To Adam, be. And it should be, he was. You see, Sahih International, this is the Sahih International translation in the English is fixing the disaster that Allah, we know it's Muhammad, there is nothing called Allah, who Muhammad himself created in his Quran. So the English translators are fixing the damage. Fixing the damage after the damage has already been taken place in the Arabic for the last 1400 years. So do you see how they are covering up the disastrous mistakes? Wow. What an embarrassing sight. Wow, do you already see the deception, guys? If you didn't, let me explain further. So, fayakun, that's the disaster. It should be fakan, fakan or fakana, fakan or fakana, not fayakun. Why? Because if we translate the Arabic correctly, it is the following B and so he will be that's what the Arabic says so 
the translators immediately saw, hey, there is a mistake in the Arabic, a huge mistake in Arabic. Let us cover it up and translate it and fix it the right way. Let us fix the Quran of Allah in chapter 3, ayah 59. Do you see it? So the Arabic again says, ثُمَّ قَالَ لَهُ كُنْ فَيَكُنْ be so he will be so that is grammatically uh, wrong so they had to fix it because as you see the green here in the green you see that the he was is the correct way فَكَان or فَكَانَ فَكَان or فَكَانَ not فَيَكُنْ because that will sound as if Allah is still planning to create Adam in the future that's grammatically uh, a mistake, right Muslims? So you see, the translators were more smart than Allah himself. They had to do something about the Arabic, fixing the Arabic. Do you see it? Fixing the mistake of Allah, fixing the mistake in the grammar of Allah in his so-called divine book. How can Allah be divine? How can Muslims claim that Allah is God while Allah is making mistakes in his so-called perfect book, which is the Quran that you see in front of you? So again, the ayah in Arabic is saying, be, so he will be, so Adam will be created. No, grammatically that's wrong because Adam was created many, many, many centuries ago. So it should have been he was. Fakan, not fayakun. Fakan, that's the correct way to say it in the Arabic. Not fayakun. That's a disaster that Muhammad created in his Quran. It almost sounds as if the one who wrote the Quran is an illiterate. Hmm, who can that illiterate be? Could it be Muhammad himself? who created these disasters because he is failing the grammar he is creating grammatical mistakes in his Quran only because he wants to sound like a poet you see when you read the Quran or recite the Quran it, it is poetry Muhammad didn't care about the disasters he didn't care about the message he just cared about poetry and remember in the 7th century the Arabs they loved poetry they loved poetry so that's what Muhammad did he forgot that when you're going to create poetry you're going to make mistakes like these poetry it's nothing but poetry that contains grammatical mistakes because Muhammad is a poet he is a liar he is a fabricator and when you are a fake prophet you're going to make mistakes so Muslims should we ask Allah to take himself and his prophet to go back to the madrasa to school and retake their Arabic exams because they are failing miserably here and we need Muslim translators like Sahih Tran International to fix the damage that Allah did 1400 years ago when he gave the Quran supposedly to Muhammad. And if we can show you a list of translations, you will see the disaster already in front of you. Here, Pictol was trying to be honest. He did not try to fix the uh, mistake of Allah. He said, be and he is in his translation he did not change it he did not fix Allah's mistake it's close to my translation because the right translation is so he will be be so he will be but Yusuf Ali on the other hand and Sahih International both of them said be and he was be and he was you see it so Yusuf Ali and Sahih International had to create a false translation fixing the mistake that Allah created in the Arabic. I mean Muhammad, there is no Allah, right? 
and some of them, like Pictol here, forget for a split second to not be honest like the rest. <laughs> so here you already see what I'm trying to talk about. This is not my translation. This is Pictol. This is a Sunni Muslim, right? Who is basically agreeing with me. Allah said be and Adam, so he will be. So basically, Allah is waiting, still waiting to create Adam. It should have been grammatically, if the grammar is correct, it should have been B and he was. <laughs> Adam was created in the past, many and many and many centuries, centuries ago. Do you see the disaster? Do you now understand why I had to create this video? To shake up the Muslims who are sincere, who are truly seeking for the truth and don't like to be deceived by their scholars and translators, as you see in front of you. And I hope you're watching. <sighs> Quite unfortunate. That does it! Oh, Canada! That's not good. Self-destruct sequence has initiated.